Hello, my name is Nate Kern. I am a BMW factory test rider and S1000RR ambassador for the North American market. And what I'm going to introduce you to today is why we took at BMW Motorcycles of Atlanta a stock R9 T and decided to turn it into a functional R9 T racer. The incentive that we had was to get really to get back to our roots because in 2003 I was fortunate enough to race the Boxer Cup in Europe and it was my first introduction to the actual Boxer engine which a lot of a lot of uh, not just riders but people in general don't truly understand that our heritage the BMW motorcycle engine was actually made before cars so with the Boxer twin very simple quick history lesson the roundel the blue is the Bavarian sky and the whites the propeller this was actually an air cooled aircraft engine where the prop came right out of the front the propeller came right out of the front so after World War one naturally they had a whole warehouse full of these and they started putting them in motorcycles and then they made cars so they made aircraft engine first then motorcycles and then cars so the history and the heritage of this platform uh, we wanted to really just take it and, and keep going with it by racing and that's where a lot of BMW's um, heritage comes from and history comes from the R9T was originally built to be just a really fun lifestyle retro uh, heritage platform but again to go back to, to the analog days of this being my traction control, my ABS, my slipper clutch. Uh, we wanted to build an R9T that could actually go out and really prove that it still had the DNA and the engineering underneath that really beautiful handmade aluminum gas tank. So what we'll do, we'll just walk around our BMW Motorcycles of Atlanta prepared R9T racer. So we'll start in the front. The biggest upgrade that we did this season, this is actually an R9T racer mold that Ilmberger Carbon Parts out of Germany took the new R9T racer which allows us to not have a headlight hole but it's super super rigid very strong very very strong and the quality that you would expect from a German carbon fiber parts company this definitely gave us more RPM gave us a little bit more top speed to have a minimal amount of drag our Gustafsons windscreens again we sent an R9T racer stock OEM fairing down to uh, with the with the help thank you BMW motorcycles of Jacksonville because uh, they were close enough to Gustafson's windscreens in Daytona they sent the fairing down there to get the, uh, the mold made and again I'm more into functionality than just looks everything form follows function so Ilmberger carbon uh, Ferry, Gustafson's windscreens, a major, major upgrade um, that, that's just critical, especially when you're starting to push the envelope um, to make up for lack of aerodynamics before we put the windscreen on, and that is our Magura clutch and brake master cylinders. The clutch and the brake master cylinder give you a feel that it's absolutely needed at plus 50 degree of lean and the make up for lack of horsepower. Um, again, we entered this in an arena against purpose-built proper race bikes to prove a point that you can't judge a book by its valve cover. So, very thankful for my Magura HC3 master cylinders. And then, our Olean's Road and Track forks, where you can use the standard R9T forks, which take a 30 millimeter cartridge that you can drop right in. This is actually the same fork tube as a BMW S1000RR. So if you have a standard R19, you drop into 30 millimeter cartridges for more lanes. If you think you love your R19 now, wait, wait till you actually get this very progressive uh, front end feel under braking, especially. And uh, we took HP4 calipers. So this is off the, the model year 13 and 14 BMW HP4 and they bolt right up again to the fork bottoms that are the same as an S1000RR. They help, they help actually dissipate the heat instead of, retain, instead of retaining the heat. So, 
Our model year 13 and 14 BMW HP4 calipers help actually dissipate the heat instead of retaining the heat and running them up through the brake lines to the master cylinder. So again, form follows function. We really needed every piece to work together at a very high rate of speed and under a lot of stress. And can't say enough about our BST carbon fiber wheels. These are imported by Brock's Performance out of Dayton, Ohio. Truly, any motorcycle, the heavier the motorcycle, the more functionality you get out of the carbon fiber wheels. So, BST carbon fiber wheels are, are hands down one of the best upgrades you can do to any motorcycle, let alone an R9T. We have our HP2 Sport carbon valve covers. Very rare, very hard to find anymore. Um, I'm half tempted to put our stock magnesium covers back on just so I can get a little more ground clearance because these cylinder head protectors, these covers right here, these guards, uh, they, they wear down. We drag them on the ground a little bit, um, especially when we're pushing pretty hard, but I need to have that little bit of extra clearance so the magnesium ones might go back on. We have our Rizoma rear sets, give you an adjustability on an eccentric, so it gives us the opportunity to get to get our, our toes up off the ground, even when I'm riding literally right here where you're supposed to be, not here, where the peg's in the middle. I know you still have a lot of leverage, but you really want to get on the outside edge of the peg and get that heel into the swing arm. Once that heel actually turns into the swing arm, you can literally open up that upper body to be able to stay straight across, because as soon as you twist your spine up the gas tank, dirt track style, you're going to maximize lean angle, minimize contact patch, and you will definitely drag the heads. Depending on which head hits the ground, which wheel comes off the ground because they're actually offset, the engine's staggered because the crank naturally has to be able to sit in the proper position. So usually when the, uh, when the right head hits, the rear wheel goes. When the left head hits, it's primarily due to the fact that body position is the main uh, factor in limiting ground clearance. A lot of people ask, can a BMW Boxer engine go over 50 degree lean? Absolutely it can with proper body position. When you're literally keeping your feet straight on the pegs and you don't have the ability, a lot of people tend to keep their feet straight and what happens is when they run their, when they shift up the gas tank this way, when I point here, my upper body follows. Now I can't lower my center of gravity because I'm twisted. And people tend to wonder why the bike is going this way when they need to go this way. Instead of opening that heel up on the, on the swing arm and being able to untwist, basically open up your shoulder and stay straight across. Now, look at my lean angle. There's barely any lean angle. So you can clear the cylinder heads, but then people ask if the bike's upright, how are you gonna turn? Well, bikes are like TV dinner trays, all right? They're very weight biased. When you put your drink in this corner, it's gonna fall in that direction. So it's very beneficial to be able to get as much center of gravity off the top of the bike by not twisting your spine up the gas tank. So, moving on to our final drive, we have different selection. This one in particular is, is out of an RT. It's a 262 ratio, so it gives us a lot of top end. A little bit less off the corners, but that's why we gotta keep our corner speed up. So, Pirelli. SC2s and SC1s, we have multiple compounds to choose from, but we actually run the Pirelli 180 uh, Superbike tire because it's actually a 190 and it's lighter than the 200 series that we run on the S1000RR, but it still gives us our nice 60 sidewall so we don't lose our ride height. Ace Cafe, hands down, that's probably worth five horsepower. <laughs> One of, the, one of the best places you'll ever go to fill your soul um, with motorcycle friends. This actually is a little bit of magic right here. Our BMW R9T racer that's prepared by BMW Motorcycles of Atlanta is actually tuned by Living Good Motorsports over in Lawrenceville, Georgia. He tunes each cylinder individually. So the motor is stock, it's never been a part, but we take a Power Commander 5, tune it to pump gas, and race fuel. We have a, a switch on the other side of the bike that will allow us to switch fuel maps because this is a proprietary program 
and no matter how many heads we turn and how, how excited people get, we're still paying for it. So, um, on race fuel, really comes alive, but we have to drain the race fuel after each race because it's very, uh, it has a lot of additives and it, it, it gums up everything, so we have to run pump gas back through. But our dyno jet shift assist, one of the best upgrades also, because we can now have full throttle clutchless upshifts. Literally, no clutch, second, third, fourth, fifth, and yes, I'm pushing down because it's a reverse shift. On the model year 14 and 15, the starters are shorter, so you can actually flip the, the knuckle on the output here on the shift shaft, and you can actually reverse the shifter. <laughs> Another major upgrade to our HP4 Brembo calipers is actually our SBS brake pads. We run the dual carbon because they're very progressive. They take a little bit of a heat to get them up to optimal, so I'll actually drag the brake lever on the warm-up lap or a down pit lane, get some heat built up into them. But once they're up to operating temperature, they're super progressive, and we need that progression because Again, lack of, of horsepower compared to um, purpose-built uh, twin-cylinder race bikes that we run against. Um, we have to be able to keep our corner speed up, but at the same time, when you're over 50 degree a lean with your knee on the ground, you still have to be able to turn the bike by trail braking. So we literally, it's a controlled tuck basically. When the calipers touch the rotors, it actually folds, it pulls the bike into the corner. You just gotta find that nice feel and ride that fine line and it's based off of truly these SBS brake pads. They give you so much feel and they all work together in unison. Thermos Man suspension tunes our Olean suspension, so spring rates, fork oil heights, everything has to work together for just that proper feel. Again, it's very hard for some people to believe that, that uh, an R9T would be competitive. But again, it's just that, that true desire that BMW Motorcycles of Atlanta has and my desire to go back to analog, even though I can't tell you enough about our digital uh, phenomenal um, BMW S1000RR that really adds such a fine layer of insurance when it regards to lean angle sensors, traction control, ABS Pro, and we'll go over that model next.